Good morning guys, I'm off work today and I'm about to go jump on a flight to Washington DC. Why am I going to Washington DC? Well, my good friend Doug. Hey guys. If you guys don't remember Doug, uh, back at Expo, well actually we did a whole entire gig log together, you can go check that out, it was crazy, it was at Marietta, similar to the one we just did, um, but we even went bigger when Doug came, um, we have multiple, but that's beside the point, you guys can go check out that gig log. Um, back at Expo, uh, Doug was also at DJ Expo, and uh, we, were t we were viewing like bass boss subs and stuff like that, comparing and contrasting, and uh, uh, he kept talking about Martin Audio and how Martin Audio is great. I'm like, you need to get me a demo. Yeah, but still, Martin. But, but, so, but Doug over here needs to get me a demo for Martin. So yeah, flying to DC this morning. Gonna be there probably around 9 a.m. Explore around a little bit. The demo's from noon until three o'clock. Not sure when Doug's gonna get there exactly, but um, we'll be hanging out. And then uh, I fly back tonight at 7 p.m. <laughs> so. Uh, should be should be fun. I'm gonna be in DC for literally about 10 hours. I'm excited. I haven't been to DC since I was in eighth grade. Let's get going. Here in DC, gotta get the booster board assembled. By that I mean I gotta attach my battery because when you fly, when this gets checked, you can't have lithium battery attached to it. So gotta put that on it and then uh, boost board over to National Mall. Board just about anywhere you want. It's like 10 o'clock right now, 10 30. Uh, it doesn't start until 1 30. Doug said he won't be here until 1 1 30, so I'm just kind of cruising around. Uh, stopped at Starbucks and recharged the battery. Probably gonna go eat here in the next half an hour and uh, recharge some more because I really didn't fully charge it. Um, I'm gonna go over to the Washington Monument, which is uh, right back there, and uh, the White House is right behind me. So I'm gonna go over to the Washington Monument. The White House is back there. So we'll see what we'll goes. So yeah, update. Um, that really did kill my battery. So I'm walking two miles to the sandwich shop where I was going to eat lunch at. But you know, the important part about this video is go demo Martin stuff. Several bad puns later. What? That's like, oh. But it's not. I saw Mark and he was actually very frustrated with the experience of going to a concert and I really wanted to buy better. Who's that kid? I don't know. It's some guys. It's the biggest hater on YouTube yeah. right here. Uh, hater, DJ Rick Webb, Martin Audio. It's crazy. You buying something, Rick? Well, Harris, that's what the, that's what the software. Oh, it's at twenty. Oh no, it's at twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you are running the boost. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the preset manager. Uh huh. Okay. Watch your ears, Like, you could feel. 
feel it in your chest. It's like, I think I shit in my pants. Brandon, Alex, Doug. Over there. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh yeah, the California trip. Yeah, that's right beside the place I ate for lunch. Right there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Bye. You. Enjoy your hundred dollar ticket. <laughs> hey, just don't just leave before you get towed. So you're good. Bye guys. Goodbye. Yeah, we'll see you in the future. Just so you guys know, Bar is a liar. Because Brandon's like way shorter than me. He's like five one. Bar claims he's under five foot. He's a liar. He's a liar. He lies about everything. Yeah, he lies about everything. We're just kidding, Bar. We're just kidding. No, no, no. I'm on the same level as you, Bar. It's okay. Brandon actually lives close here. He's like 15 minutes away. I didn't know that. Nope. I was actually surprised. Anyways, if you didn't know, Brandon has a YouTube channel too. He, he does gig logs and stuff and works with us. Tell him to go subscribe. Subscribe, turn on that bell, and uh... To his channel. No, both, both. Oh, okay, both. But... And turn on that bell for more post notifications to keep up to date with all our latest videos and more. What else? That's it? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Alright, we said bye to Doug and them. We said bye to Brandon. Heading to the airport now. Let's go. So, the Martin Audio demo, what was my thoughts, feelings, opinions, all that fun stuff. My overall opinion of the demo was like a, an eh. So, so let me explain. Let's go through the lines that they, they had there. They had the CDD live line, um, they had the wedges. So we started off with the wedges on the, up on the stage, and the wedges, they, they actually pushed those wedges, and we got to basically get a good sense of what the wedges can do. That wedge sounded better than my SRX 815. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. The two the two higher end wedges they had there sounded better than my SRX A15. A lot louder too. Which on paper they are a lot louder, so you get that. Then they moved on to the CDD live line. So they had the 8, the 12, and the 15. When they turned on those 8s, man, the clarity, man, I, I don't I don't know how to express it, but it was insane. And then they went on to the 12 and the 15 and this kind of, the clarity brings into the fact of why I brought the dB meter. Doug's been explaining this to me forever of what Martin Audio sounds like. It's, it's, it's really weird to explain and it's, it's something you really just got to go hear. The point of having the dB meter was to see the actual loudness of the speakers, how loud they actually were, um, and to kind of have a reference point compared to what I've heard before as well it just it just helps compare when we're, we were listening to them about 95 to 100 db but the big thing was when i was listening to it it didn't sound like it was 95 or 100 db I, when i looked at the meter i was like really and then if i tried to go talk to like doug or brandon you would notice it because you'd have to be shouting to talk to them because it was so loud and that's that's weird because like with the jbls and like rcf is kind of similar as well you can tell it's loud. Like there's, I don't know what it is. It's like muddy or I don't know what the description of it is. Like there's noise in the background. It's not fully clear. So the fact that the Martin audios were so clear um, really masked how loud they actually were. It's, it's very interesting. So after the powered lines, we moved on to the passive stuff, which was the line array systems where they have the weight precision line arrays. And then they had the big, dual 18 subwoofers they're really they're really 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 expensive i don't really i don't really try to pay attention too much to the line arrays 
most because it's not something I see myself getting into anytime soon. For me to justify that much money, I, I need to be getting into something a lot bigger than what I'm at now. The Dual 18s, pretty impressive, loud, but it, it gets into my third point here. First grade, they didn't bring the power Dual 18 subwoofer that I wanted to listen to, which was a very big letdown because it's... It's the subwoofer that I'm looking at buying right now. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm looking at buying two to four of their um, power dual 18 subwoofers right now. I don't know when, but I'm definitely highly considering it. Um, but first off, I need to get a demo. So um, Doug's going to be working on, on the back end, hopefully this winter, maybe in December, uh, getting that lined up to have a private demo of that subwoofer. Then, my main gripe from the demo, they wouldn't play... At high volume so I don't know if you guys can relate to this we had a pretty big space to work with so high volume wouldn't be like out of the question as a thing to do so we were playing at 95 to 100 DB for the demo portion which is great we get to listen to all the speakers about the same volume level get to judge the clarity the coverage between all of them crystal clear that okay but after the demo it's like open questions and talk and stuff and, um, the only speaker they really bumped up in volume like that we could hear it like loud volume was their wedges. That was like that was it. Um, I specifically asked to hear the CDD Live 15s, the same ones that Doug owns. I wanted to hear them at full volume. They didn't really, and they they were not cranked up at all. And I want to see what these things can do at high SPL. Yes, I know what they sound like at low oh, SPL at 100 SPL, but I want to know. If I take two of these out to a high school where there's 600, 800 kids, I want to know what they sound like at high SPL. And to back that, Doug and Alex have told me multiple times now that when they're doing these high schools, these large high schools, a lot of times they're up around limit, like a little bit below limit, or Alex even said a lot of times he's in limit when he's using these speakers. And he was talking about how the clarity doesn't lack when the speaker gets into limit. And that's something I wanted to hear, and they would not do it. To quote their word, they said, that's all the further we're going to push it. Martin, if you watch this video, um, I was disappointed because you're, you guys didn't want to push the speakers to high SPL. That's something that I, I know I'm not the only one that wants to hear them at high, high SPL. But if, if I'm looking at purchasing this purchasing this thousand something dollar speaker or a $3,000 Dole 18 subwoofer, I want to hear it at full SPL. I want to know what the heck this thing's going to do. So that is why the whole entire review um, of the demo is like um, an eh. It's like I got half of what I wanted to when I got there. Really, I got almost nothing because they didn't have the subwoofer that went here there. But I still got to hear an overall quality of Martin Audio. Again, this was the first time I ever got to hear Martin Audio. I can't be too negative because the quality of that, that sound quality is impressive. It's definitely the clearest thing I've ever heard out of a powered speaker on the CDD Live side. Um, way better than ETX, way better than SRX, way better than VRX. Anyways guys, if this was an insane day because I literally was just here this morning and now I'm back and I was all the way in Washington DC which is pretty far away. It was crazy. It was great meeting up with Doug. It was great meeting back up with Alex. It was great finally getting to meet Brandon for the first time. But if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'm getting really tired because it's getting late. Um, and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Subscribe. You know. Wow I'm getting really tired. Anyways guys my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep the record spinning. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.